Tom, I have to say, the car just looks magnificent, you know. We don't see so many of the Mark II Escorts down here in Australia. Lots of Japanese cars. It's great to see such a well-turned-out Escort. Tell me a wee bit about her. Yeah, that car, about uh, ten years ago, I actually rallied an old Toyota Corolla, and then I went wanted to get an Escort, so um, John Moynihan, back in Cork and Ireland, built me that car and sent her out here as a package, and we've rallied it ever since for the last ten years, and... She's had a few paint jobs and a few different roofs, obviously, but, yeah, it's a, been a lovely car and we're delighted with it. Is it the car for these sorts of roads? It is, yeah. I suppose this rally, from um, past experience, to some pretty fast sections and she hits the rev limit for here and there. You know, we, we might not have the top speed, but it gets there, you know. It, uh, it, loves the, it loves the tight, twisty stuff, and this is probably quite the opposite, I suppose, you know. Not enough of the tight twisted stuff. We like to see the escort sideways, don't we? But you, you might get it sideways occasionally this weekend. Oh, I think so. I think we'll get the opportunity <laughs> plenty of times, you know, as long as we get sideways in the right places. But, um, yeah, it's a lovely rally, you know, so we're really looking forward to it. It's an unusual rally, isn't it? You know, we've got night stages, which you know, a lot of rally drivers enjoy. Some don't enjoy them so much. But we've got long stages, yeah. and we don't see enough long stages in stage rallying these days. Tell me about the approach to the long stages, because you kind of have to change your mentality a little bit, don't you? Well, um, it's not a sprint rally, it's more of an endurance event, so I think you just got to get up to a good pace and get your rhythm going and try and stay there, you know, and it's all about being at the end of a rally like this, you know, and the night stages, you know, it's, uh, at 60 years of age I'm not a fan of them because I might not have the eyesight I used to have, but... <laughs> I am going to go and find a tight, twisty place and I'm going to go and sit there and enjoy your car coming through. Best of luck this week. Thanks very much. We'll try and put on the show for you, Colin. <laughs> Tom, obviously a short opening day out there. It looked like your car was going well. Tell me, how did it feel in the car? It, was, it felt good on the first stage. We found it very slippery and um, I came into a hairpin and uh, spun and stalled the car. So it cost me a few seconds. Uh, the other two stages were good, the second stage where we didn't know the road so it's fairly tricky to read the road but look it was good fun overall, good stages, good warm up and uh, I think we're up in the top five or six tomorrow somewhere so we're happy enough. Boys are working away behind you on the car, but that's just uh, just basically fettling, is it? There's nothing that concerns you. Everything went as planned with the car. Yeah, everything went well with the car. There's not a thing wrong with it. We're just putting on the lights to focus them tonight for tomorrow night and be ready for the night stages tomorrow night. And that's it. Just a general check over for the morning. So, Tom, uh, you've uh, jumped into the lead of the uh, East Coast Classic Series here and also the Classics. Um, how's today been? Today has been good, yeah. We have um, we didn't start off the quickest, but we carry good pace all day and then on the last two stages we seem to find some more pace, so we're pretty happy. Yeah, we're happy to be where we are anyway. Now, there's two big night stages to come. What's the preparation for that? Uh, just try and find some more eyesight and good lights and we'll be right. We should get through it OK. We're not sure how we'll go there. But um, last time here we did okay in the night stages, so just have to wait and see. There's so many variables out there in the dark, and including wildlife and everything, so hopefully we get a clean run through. Now a lot of that stage that you're going to do tonight, the, uh, the 72k stage, a lot of that you've already done the other way, so you've got a bit of an idea what it looks like. That's right, yeah, but I mean it's totally different, isn't it? But we know what the terrain is like, we know what the countryside is like, so hopefully we can carry enough pace to stay where we're at on the leaderboard. And what about the car? How's the car going? The car is going wonderful, yeah. It's doing everything it's supposed to do and yeah, it's running really well, handling well. We're finding plenty of grip out there so we can't complain. And it is a, it is a special little Escort, that thing. It's got uh, all sorts of technology in it, even though it's an older car, yeah? Well, she's still the BDA. She's still the five-speed hedge pattern gearbox and still the Atlas axle. So it's very much like the works Escorts of old, only a lot newer, I guess, yeah. How does it handle these roads, these faster roads? It handles the faster roads really well, and, um, but we don't have the legs on some of the other cars, like Andrew's car next door would have quite a bit of speed on us, I guess, in a straight line. But when we get into the twisty stuff, she loves it.
So many congratulations, a dominant victory here on the Shannon's Rally off the Heartland. You've had an almost faultless weekend out there. Yeah, look, we couldn't have um, asked for a better event, really. The car, everything just performed all weekend, never missed a beat. We got onto a reasonable pace at the start and built our pace through the weekend. And I think the second night stage last night more or less sealed it for us. We got position one on the road and got a minute and a half gap again back to Andrew. So, you know, that sort of sealed it for today. We just had to cruise today and get through and make no mistakes. So, yeah, we're... We're really delighted and um, yeah, it's probably the, out of my 10 years, last 10 years of rallying is probably the one I really wanted to win, so we're happy we've done that now. And you've done it in some style, haven't you? And you know, with these events, it is about strategy. It is about pacing yourself and approach, looking after yourself physically, looking after the car. And, and I guess you stuck to the plan. Yeah, it's a, it's a mixture of everything, you know. It's about, it's a blind rally and you can't forget that and you can't, you can't ask the organisers to put everything in the roadbook because it's impossible. It's either pace notes or blind. So on Ivor's advice, like, you know, drive to what you can see, and that's number one. you got to do that. If you come to a crest, don't chance it. Just brake, look and go. And that's what we did all weekend and just played it safe the whole way and got to be the pace up and, yeah, it was a just good result. It's more than just a bit of pace. Goodness me, at times out there, that car goes some, doesn't it? Oh yeah, she, when she when she gets up there, she gets going. She gets legs. Yes, it's a it's a great little car. I mean, it's just a magic little car to drive. I have to say, we were on some sections that were a little bit technical. Others where the car was coming into junctions, and it just looked so beautifully balanced through some of those sections. That's what you're looking for in any rally car. It is. Yeah, look at it. It goes where you point it and where you want to go, and it's how you drive it, and it does everything you want it to do, and it's so nimble. And that's the beauty of that car, you know. You did a wonderful job out there this weekend. Many congratulations. Oh, and what a weekend you guys have had there. A dominant victory. It seemed faultless. Yeah, it was good. Like We, we started on uh, Friday evening and had a good steady run. And from Saturday into Sunday, then all you can do is just... It's a 500km nearly uh, endurance race and just try and keep it going. That's what it is, isn't it? It is an endurance race out there, and you need to kind of approach that in a different way from, say, a normal stage rally. Yeah, like, you, you, you normally don't do stages that are 70, 63 kilometres long, like, so you, you can't go flat out from the world go. You, you, at the end of the day, it's a 44-year-old car, and you have to mind it and go as fast as it, as it can go, like, you know? It's a 44-year-old car. Tom's a 60-plus-year-old driver. I, you know, as you said, an endurance event out there. Quite remarkable how you paced yourself so well and just built things over the weekend. Yeah, like, even on Saturday there, we were setting good times. We were first, second, third. And, like, when it came to the night stage, in, we lost a couple of seconds on the first night stage. But when we uh, got first on the road in for the last night stage, we took the advantage. That was the tricky thing. It was such a long day, day two. You had a lot of stages during the day a lot of stage kilometers and then just as you know on most rallies you're thinking about maybe getting a good night's sleep you had 140 odd kilometers in the dark and you had to reset for that that's not easy yeah like it, l l night rallying we, it wasn't a stage that we'd done before it isn't we could take you know make a couple of notes during the day and and try and bring it into the, the night stage all you have to do is just as road book rallying is it's drive to what you can see and when we drove the stage in this morning it looked a totally different stage like you know yeah. and did he drive it differently um the second time the, the first time through it was we were catching dust and it's and uh, it's get your rhythm you know and the second time then he drove very well got into a good rhythm and all you try and do is just try and keep the, the, the rhythm going it was a wonderful rhythm all weekend, on it? It was just magnificent to watch that car. It sounded great, it looked great, it was driven beautifully, co-driven very well too. Well done, boys. Uh, a great victory. Congratulations.